Communion, a Eucharistic minister will come by with sanitizer. We ask you to remain at your seat and communion will be brought to you. If the communion minister should accidentally touch you, they will sanitize their hands before continuing. Please wait for the minister to step away before lowering your mask to consume communion. After you have received, please be seated so our ministers can more readily identify those who have not received. If you are listening to your car, please turn on your emergency flashers to facilitate receiving communion. A restroom is available down the sidewalk at the Statue of Mary. Please try not to form a line. The chair provided you may stay in place at the end of Mass. Thank you for social distancing to protect yourselves and others, thus allowing our community to continue to gather for Mass. At this time, please check your cell phones and be sure it is off or on silent. Please stand and take a moment to acknowledge the presence of Christ in one another and welcome Father Andrew. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We begin in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Uh, we continue to pray for blessings for each and every one of us as see God continue to guide us in our life. We continue to pray for the uh, pandemic. May God continue to grant us uh, healing and recovery for those who are contracted with the COVID-19. We also continue to pray for peace in our country and today especially we pray for our president and vice president and all who serve in our public office. May God continue to guide them and uh, guide our country. And as we do so, we ask God also forgiveness of our sins. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, to whom every human power is subject, grant to our President Biden success in the exercise of his high office, so that always revering you and striving to please you, he may constantly secure and preserve for your people for the people entrusted to his care, the freedom that comes from civil peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 
a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Melchizedek, king of Salem and priest of God Most High, met Abraham as he returned from his defeat of the kings and blessed him. And Abraham apportioned to him a tenth of everything. His name first means righteous king, and he was also king of Salem, that is, king of peace, without father, mother, or ancestry, without beginning of days or end of life, thus made to resemble the Son of God, he remains a priest forever. It is even more obvious if another priest is raised up after the likeness of Melchizedek, who has become so not by law expressed in a commandment concerning physical descent, but by the power of a life that cannot be destroyed. For it is testified, you are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The scepter of your power the Lord will stretch forth from Zion. Rule in the midst of your enemies. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Yours is princely power in the day of your birth, in holy splendor before the day star. Like the dew, I have begotten you. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord has sworn and he will not repent. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, alleluia. <coughs> The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus withdrew toward the sea of his with his disciples, a large number of people followed from Galilee and from Judea. Hearing that what he was doing, a large number of people came to him also from Ju Jerusalem. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man there who had a wither hand. And they watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath, so they might accuse him. He said to the man with the wither hand, Come up here before, before us. Then he said to the Pharisee, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent looking around at them with anger and grief at their hardness of heart jesus said to the man stretch out your hand he stretched out and his hand was restored the pharisee went out and immediately took counsel with the herodians against him to put him to death the gospel of the lord Praise Praise you, lord jesus christ Good morning, everyone. Good morning. 
Uh, today's gospel uh, tells us Jesus heals the uh, the widow uh, hand man. Uh, I think if you look at uh, the cross here, when he died, uh, he healed a lot of people with a lot of diseases, right? That's what we hear from the beginning, uh, um, maybe a week ago, from the letters of Hebrews. That Jesus is like us in all things except sin. Uh, so he took on everything, uh, pain and suffering and so on, and the consequences of sin he took on himself also. Yeah, and uh, we know that he heals all kinds of diseases, um, paralytic uh, people uh, with illness and so on. And today, I think I was reflecting on this. Uh, you could see that Jesus himself was uh, or paralyzed on the cross, right? Or he had wither hand on the cross as well. Uh, he couldn't move, uh, lifeless actually, right? Uh, the last drop of his blood was drained from his body as well. And so he took on everything. Uh, I think if you, in your spiritual journey or in your, uh, in your life journey, you experience uh, paralyzed. You experience uh, yourself being uh, withered, uh, cannot move. There's no hope. Uh, you could look up to Jesus and see that He He experienced what we experience as well. You know, uh, in all these moments in life, in challenges, in difficulties, in hopelessness. Uh, he also experienced those moments as well. And that's why we know that uh, in the Garden of Gethsemane, uh, he sweat uh, out blood as well, right? And so all those stress and depressions and all these things that we go through, he went through also. Um, so that we can confidently come to him knowing that he understands us well. And that's why we come to the, the Mass today. Uh, to ask God to continue to bless us, um, especially when we have uh, challenges and difficulty that we cannot handle on our own. We feel like we are withered. Uh, that's when we, uh, we have the invitation from Jesus to reach out our hand to, to Him, to reach out to Him so that He could help us. Let us stand as we reach out to God with our prayers. May the Holy Spirit, who moves mysteriously and wisely in the life of the church, Give us confidence that God will provide for the future of the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May Joseph Biden, who assumes the presidency of the United States today, be given the wisdom of the Holy Spirit as he gives leadership to his people and works with other world leaders for justice and peace everywhere. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May every Christian treasure their share in the life of Jesus and live it in the service of others, especially for the poor and suffering people of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. May the people of the United States experience healing, which enables enemies to become friends, sparking a fresh approach to the scourge of the COVID-19 pandemic make available that the vaccine to everyone and an easing of racial tensions. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. May all those who are sick, especially Rosita and Esperanza Alcantar, Dan Archuleta, Virginia Calea, Maria Cordero, Dorothy Fernandez, Aaron Hughes, Merrick Mueller, Don Orlando, Mike Orlando and Sherry Voisonet be granted wholeness of mind and body and comfort from our Lord Jesus Christ. 
we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. May all who have died, especially Paul Silva, be where Jesus lives in the Father's heavenly home. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Lord God, we also present all the prayers and the prayers deep within our hearts. We also remember and pray for the all the seminarians who are instituted as acolytes today. Uh, our three seminarians, Robert, Ryan, and Zui. We ask all these through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the saving sacrifice of your Son, King of Peace, offer under the sacramental signs that signify peace and unity. Strengthen, we pray, O Lord, conquered among all your children, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is surely right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Holy Father, Lord of heaven and earth, through Christ our Lord. For by your word you created the world, and you govern all things in harmony. You gave us the same word, made flesh as mediator, and uh, he has spoken your word to us and called us to follow him. He is the way that leads us to you, the truth that sets us free, the life that fills us with gladness. Through your Son, you gather men and women whom you made the glory of your name into one family, redeemed by the blood of his cross and signed with the seal of the Spirit. Therefore now and before ages unending, with all the angels, we proclaim your glory as with joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the sea who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and to be glorified, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life, Blessed indeed is your Son, presence in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for his disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask you to send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross in the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and a chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. Father, by our partaking of this mystery, give us light to your Holy Spirit, grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son, and confirm us in the bond of communion, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oscar, our Bishop, with all other bishops, with priests and deacons, and with your entire people. When that all the faithful of the church, looking into the sign of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the gospel. Keep us attentive to the need of all that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope. We may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brother and sister who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoin in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of light. When also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. Then in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Apostle, the Martyr, and Saint Joseph, the Jewish spouse, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And together as one family, let us pray to our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin's world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin's world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin's world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those of you in your cars, please turn on your flashers so we are aware that you are wait awaiting communion. For those of you in chairs, please be seated after receiving communion so we can easily identify those who have not yet received. For those of you at home or not otherwise receiving communion, please join us in saying the prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit of charity, so that, sustained it by the body and blood of your only begotten Son, we may be effective in nurturing among all the peace that he has left us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and joy of our Lord. Thank <laughs> you.